Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Joan and today's video is going to be all about my goals for 2021. New Year's Eve is practically, basically, my second favorite holiday of the year behind Christmas because I love the idea of resetting yourself and resetting yourself in aspects of being physical, emotional, spiritual, and anything else that you need to feel the need to reset yourself on. I love starting with a clean slate and I love just establishing new habits and systems for myself going into the new year because I'm not a of change. At least I would like to think that I'm not afraid of change. 2020 has been an up and down year for me so I actually just want to sit and reflect on it for a bit and after I reflect on it I'm going to manifest and speak my goals into existence for 2021 and I just want to share with you guys what those goals will be. This year was very crazy in my in my opinion. When my spring semester started of 2020, I honestly wasn't really in a good place. I had no motivation to do anything and I ended up just laying in bed and just laying around and dragging my feet for anything that I needed to do. The one thing that I consistently did was working out. I um, had access to the school recreation center um, for anyone that goes to Ohio State. It was the RPAC and I went three times a week. I went in between classes, I went after class, I went before class. Any chance I could get to work out, I did. From January to March, I was getting stronger. I was losing weight. I was eating healthy at the same time. Like it was a really good start for me. Then Miss Roro got severe. Then my spring break got extended a week. Then we never came back to campus. During this time, I was working at a grocery store and for some reason, they thought that just because all my classes went online, I can work more hours. What? Um, ciao. Anyway, so that was really hard to deal with. And so not only is Miss Roro getting crazy, I had to go work at a grocery store and deal with people who were dumb and selfish. I decided to take upon myself to go live with my boyfriend um, and his mom for just while the first wave hit. And um, as someone who lives in a house um, full of older people, because my, pe my family's Haitian, and I guess for most foreign families goes that we all live together. And I was the youngest person. Person. So I just felt like it would be safer to just go where there's only two people. I ended up staying there and it was really hard. It was really hard because my, my friends were still hanging out and I had hard FOMO. In a way, it's kind of like, why should I feel FOMO? Because we are in a pandemic. But these were my friends. I wanted to see them and I knew it was going to be a time where I can't see them and I wanted to, but I made the hard decision not to. It also didn't help that school was still going on. So I had assignments that were getting longer and harder and it was really really difficult to maintain my focus I could not maintain my focus on top of that my boyfriend's room and house is really dark compared to my house we have a lot more open windows a lot more light going through and they don't so that did not help my mental health it was so bad I was borderline suicidal and that scared the shit out of me. It scared me. I have I have never gotten to this point in my life and it terrified me. So I knew I needed a change. So what did I do? I went to therapy. I met Aaron, who is an amazing therapist in the way that he challenged me and gives me great advice and insight. I decided to go home. I also decided to go to the chiropractor, which was well needed. During this time, I got my wisdom teeth taken out. When I finally came home, I wanted to work out more so I started doing almost like I would say daily walks around my neighborhood but it was like every other day I would take the time and I would go on at least a 10 to 30 minute walk every day and I try my best to focus on myself and during this time I really did I got an internship which I was looking and applying to and finding to all year so when Miss Robro hit the fan that was one of the things I was really disappointed about is that I didn't even get an internship before I graduated. And then this one just kind of fell in my lap and I was in it for the whole summer and I learned a lot. I learned a lot more about videography, editing, graphic design, and even just building a proposal plan. I did a little bit of podcast editing as well. I did a lot. This this internship was probably the highlight of my summer. Um, I also decided to commit to my YouTube channel. And I know right now it's pretty small very small you know for years i was so scared to do it and i don't know why because a lot of people told me like oh joan you have a great voice for video oh my god you're so funny you should start a youtube channel i would love to see you on youtube and i was just so scared because you know imposter syndrome but then i just took the time and i wanted to just create what i wanted to create i did a whole bunch of 
film analysis videos and TV analysis videos. And then like the more YouTube I started to do for myself, I started to watch a lot more YouTubers, which includes lifestyle YouTubers, which I never, ever, ever delve into. A lot of college YouTubers, vloggers. I think what the difference between watching vloggers now than when I was like in middle school is that I'm doing the same thing they are, like they're in college. So like, it's kind of nice to throw on their vlog while I'm working on homework or I'm like tidying up my room or doing the same things that they do so it's relatable. Now of course I only discovered this in my last semester, my last year of college. Then I started making my own vlogs and I started doing, you know, for a while it just felt like I was kind of doing what was popular and it didn't really make me happy and I noticed it didn't really garner me any views. I think this year my approach is going to be a little bit different. I think I'm just going to make what I want to make and I know, and the thing is I know that one of these videos one day will carry me. Like a video that I made back in June could get popular in the middle of this year. And I know that. And over time, the more videos I did, the more I got comfortable, the more I wanted to challenge myself as a content creator, a filmmaker, and I'm still learning and I'm still, and I still wanna do more things. I just think by the time I got to the fall semester, I was a little bit better. And I was a little bit, not a little bit, a lot more happy and content with my life. Now I want to toot my own horn and I want to share with you my small wins of 2020. I was consistent with my YouTube channel since June. I wrote three short films. I started to write a book. I got an internship that fell into my lap. Thank you to Priscilla and Alvis. I discovered two new activities that I like to do or two new hobbies, which is painting and tennis. I went to Pittsburgh for the first time with my best friend Mel. Then I went to Yellow Springs, Cleveland, and Cincinnati with my boyfriend Niall. And then I discovered that I am a huge fan of graphic novels. And I also discovered a lot of new YouTube channels. And here are a couple of my favorites. Now that we are in 2021, I decided to do the How to Unpotato Challenge with Rwanda Sai on YouTube. And I discovered my four values for this year. The first one is health and nutrition. The second one is work, career, and school. The third one is spirituality. And the last one is creativity. Now I have the horrible habit on grouping so many different goals for myself and getting overwhelmed and like not doing them because that is the ADHD and me. So I thought it would be very least good on my part to centralize quarterly goals with each value. So from January to March, I will be focusing on health and nutrition. And here are my three goals. My goals are to work out three times a week, which is great because I already set Monday, Wednesday, Fridays at my designated days. I want to start meal prepping every Sunday in hopes to stop eating out. And then I want to transition into a pescatarian diet by April. For the next value, which is work, career, and school, which is going to be during April be well, through April and through June. I want to graduate with my degree. I want to be a full-time, I want to find a full-time job as a production assistant, editor, or videographer by August. I want to establish three, I'm sorry, not three. I want to establish five work relationships through networking, and I want to build my YouTube channel to 1,000 subscribers. I want to establish my niche and my audience. I want to be concise with my videos and make the content that I want to make. The next value is spirituality, which will be mostly through the summer month, July through September. I want to meditate for 30 minutes. Right now I'm meditating between five to 10 minutes a day and eventually I want to get to 30 minutes. I want to learn how to read tarot cards. And I also want to read the Bible in full. And for the last value of this year will be through the months of October and December is my creativity. I want to produce one of my short films, Cayenne Pepper. I want to produce a commercial and I also want to write a TV series. I am sure that I probably won't, oh, I'm sure over time that my goals may change and some of them may not even get accomplished in the quarters that they are in. I am fully aware of that and I'm okay with that. I think the best thing coming into next year and what I want for myself is confidence. That would be my theme for 2021. Confidence in my skills, in my job, and in my creativity. Confidence in my body image and curating the best wardrobe for myself. And confidence in my state of being overall. 2021 is going to be a great year for me and I'm definitely excited about the opportunities that are coming. What was your 2020 like? What are your 2021 goals? Leave a comment down below and I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the content of this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to be a part of the grape gang, hit that subscribe button where I post weekly. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.